Brooklyn Center residents will have some new places to shop, dine, and live. The City Council recently approved development on 31 acres of property. Reporter Sonia Goins shows us what businesses are moving into empty storefronts. I don't ever like to see uh, stores close. Michael's Craft Store has been vacant for about two years, but now another retailer is moving in. Burlington, a nationwide chain. I like Burlington and I think it offers a lot more options for people with families. City officials tell us Burlington is expected to open in November, just in time for Black Friday shopping. I'm really excited for Burlington because like as growing up, I've always gone, we've always yeah, gone to Burlington, definitely. so that's the spot. This boarded up Sears building has been an eyesore since 2018 when it closed, but there's good news. The city council recently approved development of the property. It's a really, really big place, so I'm really excited what they're going to put over there. Crews will demolish the existing Sears building and auto sitter. It will be replaced by two multi-use buildings for future tenants. It's slated for industrial as well as some warehouse, but also some non-warehouse uses. Could be medical manufacturers, could be office, research and development. The city council also approved phase one of the so-called opportunity site. The existing ocean buffet will be demolished and the rest restaurant would move somewhere else. That would be a 16 acre redevelopment. The restaurant and vacant parking lot would be turned into an event center with three separate apartment buildings, a child care center, wellness and barber suites. We're hoping that it brings the energy that's needed to really start rebuilding the core of our city. In Brooklyn Center, Sonia Goins, CCX News. The phase one opportunity site development is expected to cost approximately $250 million. Construction is expected to start in December. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.